guys and welcome back to my channel today I am going to be sharing with you my recipe for keto waffles I'm definitely doing the keto program for my diet and I'm also incorporating the OMAD diet which is one meal a day I don't know if you guys are familiar with that but I am fasting like a speed demon <laughs> and um, cutting out carbs and sugar. So I just got this waffle maker from Kohl's and I decided that I was gonna try these waffles. So these are only three ingredients, which is awesome. Uh, the first ingredient is almond flour. Now you can use coconut flour as well if you want. I just had the almond flour already from Costco. The second ingredient is one egg. These are farm fresh eggs that I got from my friend who has a shit ton of chickens. Um, so I have been using these up for sure. And then over here I just have, I think it's like a fourth cup of shredded cheese. Now you can basically use any shredded cheese you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. And then I just put the almond flour in here already. And then you can use seasonings of your choice. Um, I'm just going to be using Mrs. Dash, black pepper, and the Himalayan pink salt. You can also make this into like a chocolatey treat with a sugar-free syrup um, or maybe some cream cheese spread and add cacao powder. Um, and I have some of that too from Costco, but I usually have my one meal a day, I would say between 3.30 and 5.30, and I just have that one meal and that's it. So what I've been doing with these is I have been using these spreads, um, the whole organic guacamole, and then also the laughing cow cheese um, sometimes I use. So right now I am going to add my egg, which I already whisked together here with the seasonings. I'm going to add that to the bowl right now. Ooh, that look kind of gross, you guys. Okay, so let's add that to the bowl. We'll add that there, and then I will stir it up, and I'll show you how I just pour it um, in the waffle maker there. To attempt to do this with one hand, um, I might have to scrape a little bit off. But basically what you do is you pour everything into the center of the waffle maker there and let me just scrape off the edges real quick okay so now it is in the middle and you don't want to flatten your batter at all you just want to close the waffle maker and you don't want to push down on the waffle maker at all you just want to kind of let it do its thing and i usually have this on for three minutes so we will be right back hey guys it has been like two and a half minutes so I am going to open it up and it looks amazing. Basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is take it off with your fork here very gently. Um, and it moves pretty easily right onto the plate. So I'm gonna be making one for tomorrow and one for the next day. And I will be able to, like I said, dip these in the guacamole. Um, you could spread cream cheese on here. You could spread anything basically on here. And you guys, it literally tastes like bread. Like if you guys are on the keto diet and you want a bread substitute, this is something that I would definitely use. You could also use this as like a hamburger bun um, for sure, you can make two of these and make a really juicy hamburger or cheeseburger or something like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys will try this out. If you do, leave a comment down below. If you guys have any other recipes for me to try also, um, just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye everyone.